Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, beautiful. How are you? What's your name? Oh, I'm Heartbreaker. Oh, Heartbreaker. Okay. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Alrighty, what were you going to say? I was coming for the advice day, but um, I mean, we can do this too. That's fine. I mean, if you want to do advice that's on Monday, you don't have to go through with the dating today. Mm -hmm. We can do it. I mean, I look a mess. I wasn't ready for that, but yeah, let's do it. Okay. So your name is Heartbreaker. How old are you and where are you located? 32 in Florida. Okay. What do you do for a living? I own a massage parlor. All right. Do you have any children? None. Would you date a man with children? Yes. All right. Describe your dream man. Don't describe his looks. Um, resourceful, generous, very giving, generous, very giving. Generous, very giving. Right. All right. And what does he have to look like? He can look like anything. See, guys, this is a society that we live in where women are just so delusional that they don't even understand that you're marketing yourself as an object for a man's pleasure. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button. Tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're going to do before we get into anything. Let's roll that clip. No preference there. Okay. How much money does he have to make per year? Between 100 to 200,000. All right. And does are you open to 50-50 or someone who fully provides? Fully provides 110%. All right. Give me three deal breakers. Broke. Somebody that's like stingy, like have it and they're stingy. Um, and that's it pretty much. Oh, can't be from out of the country either. No. Alrighty. And um, give me one reason why you think you're single. Because they're saying your page is crazy or I'm seeing things about your page. So give me one reason why you think you're single. Um, I don't know. I just think I'm too busy. Too busy. Okay. Do you want a relationship? I want like a homie lover friend, something like that. Okay. All righty. And would you be willing to relocate for love? If he lives in the state of Florida. All right. And where can this man find you, Heartbreaker? Right here on TikTok. All right. Perfect. Thank you for coming up. Keep me updated. Bye. And I find it funny that this woman is so delusional or delulu that you think coming on to a show with half of your chest down and then listing your BS qualifications for a man is going to get you anywhere. And see, guys, this is the type of woman that you want to avoid. This is the type of woman that will use you for your money. If you notice, she said, I don't want a broke man. Here we go with the 100 to 200K a year. It doesn't make sense. Every woman that comes on these shows, whether it's this woman or Kendra G's show, they all say the same thing. 100 to 200K, you can't be broke. And then she said, I don't care what a man looks like. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, what? you do. Like Congressman Mays would say, yes, you do. You do care. She would not date a man that looks like this. Or this. Or this. Or this.
You see, when a woman says, I don't care what a man looks like, what she's really saying is, I'm just going to use you for your money anyway, so I don't have to care what you look like. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> I'm going to get your money anyway because a simp is going to fall for my good looks. And then I'm going to get a man with money anyway. And then I'm going to drain him for his resources, his money, his assets, divorce him, get 50-50, and go on to the next one. This is the type of woman that you want to avoid, fellas, which is modern women. Over here, we teach men to avoid all modern women. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, but the majority of them are black. And see, we live in a society where women want what they want, but you can only buy what you can afford. The problem is, is that these women are delusional, and not only that, they go for the worst type of man. You see, the modern woman has terrible dating etiquette. They go after a man with the illusion of money, not understanding that real money isn't flashy. You saw it in the clip. This is a real woman. And a lot of people will get in this comment section and say, oh, well, it's a fake clip. These are real people with real opinions coming on to a real call-in show. We get that this may just be a clip, but if you read the comment section under these videos, you will see that they're not just clips. Women in today's world, they want hood guys. They want the bad guys. They want guys that look like they're street cats. They want a guy that's gonna put their life in danger. That is what these women want. Uh, second thing is, why do you gotta kill a nigga to fuck with you? I, I need a guy who's not afraid to pick up a gun and bust at somebody. What? Why do you gotta kill a nigga to fuck with you? I, I need a guy who's not afraid to pick up a gun and bust at somebody. Why do you gotta have a strap on to fuck with you? Like, damn. So a nigga gotta get but on his- Preference, that's my preference. I, I'm not saying that I want a nigga to be 24-7 like, ah, I'm a killer nigga. No, I, what I'm saying is I don't want a soft man. I might be saying it, I might be, it might be coming off different to how you perceiving it, but what I'm saying is I don't like a soft man. Huh? And unfortunate for the rest of us, the blue collar and the white collar guys are forced to go overseas or sit on the sidelines because these women don't know what they want. They want to date and be free and be body positive, which is an excuse for this. God, hey. God, hey. Oh yes, the camera loves your nastiness. So as you can see, these women are just delusional, all of them. And I feel that we're fighting an uphill battle, but it still needs to be said that we will continue to fight until all the modern women have either been changed into submissive women or we just go overseas. Because it's not fair to men in the continental states that we have to go overseas because our women in the black community don't want to act right. So this is why I believe that women need to either get right or get left. That's going to be the motto for 2024. Either get right or get left. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. Do not forget, live call-in show this Friday night where we will be talking about women-like struggle 
love. If you're a woman and you want to get in on the fun, give me a call on stream yard. We're going to have a special live call in show on stream yard this Friday night. You don't want to miss it. And until the next video, peace. <laughs>